what are your what are your thoughts on this analogy? So you mentioned how the easy path would have been keep doing the parkour stuff, don't get your masters, that's this big obstacle. And it sounds like you've integrated the philosophy of parkour into other things besides just movement. So I want to validate that. In addition to that, I want to ask this question about this analogy. So it's like the river flow analogy. People yeah. talk about the river's flowing and you flow with the river. And so with that analogy, the easy path isn't necessarily the most difficult path. But the parkour ethos, and this is passed down from Raymond Bell. In fact, I could probably read it directly because I have this book, uh, Parkour, with David Bell. Um, let's see if I can find it since... Here he goes. It, it, if two paths are presented to you, take the most difficult one. It's a quote that opens this book, Parkour by David Bell. And I believe that quote's from his father, Raymond. And so that's the parkour ethos. It sounds like that's what you're doing. So with that in mind, what is your thoughts on the idea of flowing with the river? Because maybe the easiest path, some people would say, is the best path because that's what the universe or God has opened up for you. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, to each his own, I think everyone has everyone has to make a decision and determine what it is they want to pursue in life, what challenges they want to overcome. Every path comes with its own set of obstacles and challenges with it. Um, if someone is faced with two paths and decide to go down the one that flows better, the one with less rocks, then like all four of them, you know, I support them. Um, I think it's a matter of like, I think to me, it's just a matter of like putting in your full effort. You know, I think if you are choosing to go down the easier path, like don't let that be an opportunity for you to, um, like half ass the job or whatever it is you're trying to do, like go in with it full heartedly and know that just recognize that this is a path that you've chosen to take. That's maybe a little easier than the other path, but like, I think ultimately we can make things hard or easy for us. You know, like a person can make an easy path more difficult. Um, <laughs> sure. Sure. Like. I don't know. I'm trying to think of an analogy, like, like you maybe you're faced with like a, you know, a trail. One has like rocks you have to climb over. One's just an easy path. Like you can always make that easy path a little more difficult by maybe taking your shoes off. That automatically makes it much more difficult. Or, you know, you put on a backpack that's 40 pounds. That is making it a lot more challenging. And you can make this path as challenging as the other one. And at the end of the day, it's your choice or not. But I think it's a matter of the heart behind what it is you're trying to do. And yeah, I think that's that's ultimately what's important. Do you see do you see yourself in the future of being able to integrate your studies and your degree with parkour in some way? Yeah, yeah. Um I I thought about this quite a bit. Um ultimately, yes. I don't I don't really know to what extent or what that looks like exactly. I think before pursuing the degree, um, the program that I'm in, I was debating on <clears throat> going into, into research, into uh, studying athletes and seeing how, um, you know, partaking in, um, not saying parkour is an extreme sport, but like disciplines like parkour is affecting cognition, how it's affecting how our brains are operating, how um, our perception of what is around us changes because it does. You know, they did a study and uh, basically they, you know, they asked some muggles like, "What does from here to there? What does that? You know, how how far do you think it is?" And they're like, "Oh, ten feet." And then they asked like a parkour person or someone who's active in sports and how how far does that look to you? And the people who are active in different disciplines are give you a more accurate answer. So our perception of life, our perception of even time changes depending on what it is we're doing. And so mm -hmm. I'm very curious to see like how parkour um, is influencing the way we think, because at least for me, like, I mean, just an example, I'm constantly looking at things to climb, you know, and sure. you're looking for possibilities. And likewise, like in my career, I'm going to be, you know, working with people counseling and it's the same thing. It's like, 
instead of looking at a person as like a blank slate and like, oh, you know, this person has a lot of potential to do all these things. And let me think about it that way instead of like, oh, you know, maybe shrugging them off and like, oh, this is a person dealing with depression. This is a person dealing with this, that, you know, they have no hope. But no, I think ever this hope, there's always hope and there's always potential and possibility with everything you pursue in life, which is, I think, ultimately one of the greatest things about parkour, you know? It's teaching potential to everything that we do.